Hello everybody and welcome back to Rental Trader YouTube channel. My name is Margo Jordan and today we are gonna be jumping into part one of our vacation rental marketing tip series. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about why you should care about vacation rental marketing in the first place. Well, as a host, you probably know that bookings are crucial for success. Marketing is the number one way to increase your bookings, grow your client base, and gain credibility in the industry. It's so important. Plus, it enables you to use available resources to reach your goals, even if you are working with a small or a non-existent marketing budget. Shoot, and maybe best of all, the increased income you'll earn thanks to marketing can be reinvested in scaling your business. Now, if you're curious about how to market your vacation rental property, the very first thing that you need to do is identify your target market. Trying to appeal to everybody is pretty much impossible. So zero in on a certain demographic, like say business travelers, honeymooners, uh, families, or large groups. Then once you've decided who you wanna to appeal to, it becomes so much easier to cater all of your marketing efforts towards them. Next, you need to establish your brand. So this means choosing a name, a logo, a tagline, and a cool color palette for your vacation rental business. I love this part. <laughs> You wanna be memorable and easily recognizable, so keep your branding consistent across all platforms. Now it's time to jump into vacation rental channel marketing, starting with your listings. So you might wanna to throw together a couple of listings on well-known sites like Airbnb and VRBO and then call it a day, but a better way to go is to list your rental on as many platforms as possible. That means more eyes will be on your listings and that's gonna expand your reach and increase your bookings. Not only should you hit all of the large online travel agencies, but it is really smart to list your rental on smaller sites like rentaltrader.com, which is our site, and other niche sites where you'll have far less competition. You can be a grand poobah of Rental Trader. You can also list your property on local sites, meta search engines like Home2Go and Google, and you can do this by becoming a Google Vacation Rentals partner and creating a Google business profile. Managing multiple listings can be a full-time job, but do not panic, it doesn't have to be. All you need is a channel manager or a property management system to combine your calendars and keep everything organized. No stress. Okay, so you might be saying, I get it, Margo. I need lots of listings, but how do I make them stand out? Well, I'll tell you. First, you need a powerful attention-grabbing headline that makes travelers stop their scroll and click on your listing. Now, I don't wanna see any boring two-bedroom house in San Diego listings, okay? Try highlighting a special amenity or mentioning a nearby attraction. Let's say that you are running a family-friendly rental in San Diego. Then your headline might be, two-bedroom house with crib and high chair five minutes from San Diego Zoo. Ah, okay, okay, you got the high chair, you got the zoo. This is screaming family. And there you go, somebody with a family is gonna click on it. You're also gonna need some beautiful, high-quality photos, preferably taken by a professional photographer to showcase everything your property has to offer. As a matter of fact, one study showed that listings with at least 20 high quality photos were 20% more likely to get booked. Video tours and FAQ videos are also excellent additions to your listing. Of course, you cannot neglect your description either. If you are not a wordsmith, then consider hiring a copywriter to fine tune your description. If you're writing it yourself, then choose words carefully to really paint a picture of the experience that guests will have at your rental. Oh, and do not forget to cover all the house rules and other important information as well, and proofread before you post. I don't wanna see any grammatical issues and, and spelling errors. That shows you didn't pay attention to detail, and that might be a reflection of your rental property, which it probably isn't, but maybe it is, so proofread. Pricing also impacts how well your vacation rental performs. We highly recommend using a dynamic pricing tool like AirDNA to optimize your prices. And finally, make sure to keep your listings updated and accurate. An inaccurate listing can lead to negative reviews and you do not want that because having lots of five-star reviews on your listing is sure to drive bookings. 
To get five-star reviews, you have got to provide a five-star experience. This means having a great response time when you get messages, and you can actually automate this with your property management system, ensuring a smooth check-in and check-out process, and being friendly and adaptable. Provide amenities to give your stay some extra razzle-dazzle, and do not forget to ask your guests for a review upon checkout. Now that's all for today's video, but stay tuned for part two and part three to learn about the best way to market a vacation rental through email, social media marketing, partnering with influencers, and running promotions. You don't wanna miss it, so make sure to subscribe and ring that bell, you know I love that part. Give us a thumbs up below and let us know that you want to hear more info on vacation rental marketing. I know you're loving this video so far. Go to part two, it's gonna be great. Um, also, before I go, do not forget to list your vacation rental on Rental Trader. It's free, it's easy. We only charge 4.5% per booking, not 14% or more like some other listing platforms. It is the best. Also, be sure to check out our blog for vacation rental hosting and traveling insights. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive, and say yes to adventure.